What's happening, y'all? JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes in Waterford, Michigan, where today we're taking out the new Crimson Jackal. Uh, very shiny ASIM pearl, very, very good piece. Uh, I've bowled in a couple of events with it already. It's came into play, bowled 290 with it the other day at an event to win the jackpot that second game, which was pretty sweet. Um, but it also has that same layout as the Raptor Fury. It is the 70 by five and a half by 30. So it's another real tall pin. This one really gets going down lane for me. So I really like that. We're gonna take it out here again on that. Uh, I think it's a 41 foot, uh, not really a sport condition, more of a challenge condition, six to one pattern. Uh, for any of you that don't know, anything less than three to one or less is a sport condition. Anything from three to one to like six to one, I think is what they say is challenge. And then above that is anything recreational or league. So uh, we're gonna take it out here. Uh, big shout out to Turbo. Thank you Turbo for always sponsoring me and the products that I use. I've got switch grip in every ball, as well as I use the turbo tapes and the uh, kinesiology tape for my wrist. This is actually something new. I just started doing this um, because I actually bowled a lot the last couple of weeks. I'm starting to feel a little tension there, a little soreness, plus, plus time in the gym. You know, it all adds up. But anyway, so I use all my turbo products, plus my creating a difference products, my bolified jerseys, um, and everything else that goes along with that. So I appreciate y'all. Let's go take a look and see what this ball has here in a minute. Stay tuned. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. All right, here we go. So now we have this Crimson Jackal. You just saw the, the Raptor Fury on this same lane. Now we're going to throw the Crimson Jackal and see what it does. A little bit straighter, standing on 20, trying to hit that 10, 11, 12 range. It got through there nice, the pearl, you can see it kind of hook stoppy. Uh, of course it's going to do that because it's going to store its energy and then once it gets to the back part of the pattern, it's going to hook a bunch. So I would imagine you're going to see this kind of hook stop a little bit on this pattern because it is fresher and it is not exactly a house shot. So it's not going to blend out as well as if you were on a league pattern, but still gives you an idea of what this ball does. So let's move five left, standing 25, trying to hit that 13, 14 range. Let's see where it goes next. There's the hook stop, but it's got enough to slap the 10 out. Gets the six to go off the wall, and we are good. That's what we like to see. So now we will continue going left. We'll move over five more, stand 30. And this is where we'll probably have to start getting our hand around it a little bit, otherwise we might 510. <laughs> so now we're gonna try to hit 14, 15, or 16, 17, somewhere in there. There's the hook stop, because now we're starting to create the steeper angle. So for me to get the ball to go through the pins from there, I'm gonna have to really get my hand around it, which is gonna make it even more responsive to the dry, <laughs> which this ball already is, which is a good thing. So if you're looking for an ASIM pearl that is nice and strong down lane, this is where it's at. Five more left in 25, or I'm sorry, 35. Try to hit. 19, 20, 21 range. Oh, miss left. Miss left. Got the four nine out. Or got the four not four out of the four nine. So that's good. And keep going left. It might be okay once I get far enough left and create some angle, because then the sharpness of this will get us through the pins. Get up against the ball return here. That ain't gonna do it. Yeah, the hook stop is it's just so strong off the back of the pattern. 
I think this will be really good on league. Actually, I, I've already proved it is because I bowled on a league pattern this weekend. I bowled 290 with it game two. I flat tend, move left, and then ran the board the rest of the way for 290. I won all the money for that game, so that was good. I'll try that again. I'll try to spin it a little bit. See if I can get it to round its shape just a pinch more. Yeah, and then I can't get the nine out. But that's okay. This thing, I mean, clearly you can see what this thing's capable of. It's clean through the front, it's strong down lane. So if you want a clean, strong bowling ball, that's the way to go. That's the way to go. Let's see how it does nice and straight. Let's try to go to that like six, seven, eight range. Nice and straight and see what it does. Yeah, just a little too quick. Something made some weird noise. What was that? I don't know what it was, but something made a weird noise. Kind of sounded like crackling. I don't know. Hopefully it's not the video. But anyway, there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. That's the Crimson Jackal. Looks really, really good. Of course, on this pattern, being a super uh, a crisp pattern, doesn't have much breakdown. It's not a leak pattern, uh, so it's going to be really quick. You're going to watch the ball really pick up off the dry and get going, which is what you're looking for out of the ASIM Pearls. We want them balls to get down lane and start its motion and make its quick motion. That's the way to be. Um, so if you're looking for a quick, nice and strong hockey stick type motion, this Crimson Jackal is going to be for you. Anybody that's always looking, I know I get a lot of people that come in. I want it to be clean. I want it to get down lane and then make its motion. Crimson Jackal is where it's at. So if you want something a little smoother, a little more round, get yourself a Rap Raptor Fury. And uh, that's all I got for you. So thanks again to Turbo, Creating the Difference, BowlerX.com and Bowlify. Appreciate all you all support. I'm getting out of here. Until next time, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later. Oh, make sure to get yours in the link in the description, by the way. I'm going to have one down there. We'll see you guys later. Take care. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling.